Hi, Mark Washburn again from PondAlgaeSolutions.com, and in this video I want to talk a little bit about fish in your pond. One of the common problems we hear about is green water or consistent algae problems in small backyard ponds, koi ponds, goldfish ponds, things like that. And inevitably, one of the questions that I always have to ask is how many fish do you have in the pond? It's important that you know two things. If you're having an algae or green water problem, that you know two things regarding your pond. One is a pretty precise gallon size of your pond. And uh, you can determine that oftentimes by just when you refill, you know how many gallons you add, or by take the dimensions, uh, take the uh, length of the pond in feet times the width in feet times the depth in feet and then multiply that roughly by about 7.85 and it'll give you a gallon total. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you need to take a look at how many fish you have in the pond currently and what size those fish are in inches. Uh, by doing that you're able to determine whether you have uh, an adequate fish stock and fish load for the pond size or whether you are overstocked. Now here's the ratio that we use. Concerning goldfish, goldfish need 10 gallons of water for every inch of fish in the pond. 10 gallons for every inch. Koi on the other hand, because they're very voracious eaters, they need 25 gallons of water for every inch in the pond. Now, what's interesting about this, if you have for example two, two koi that are large koi, 18 inches long let's say, and you have two of those, those fish will require approximately 900 gallons uh, in order to be adequately uh, kept without getting into problems with uh, increased nutrient loads due to their waste. Uh, all of that can increase ammonia levels in the pond and things like this. So the next time you have a problem um, with algae in your small backyard pond, take a look at how many fish you have. Use the equation we just mentioned and, and run the numbers out and see where you stand. If when you calculate the total uh, number of fish inches out and then multiply that by the recommended amount and so you find that you're over your gallon size, then you're probably overstocked for your pond. I would submit to you that almost nothing you do uh, in terms of additives or uh, controls is going to help deal with a, an algae situation until you address the overstock of fish because they're just uh, producing so much uh, waste and increasing in the nutrients that you just can't control it in any other way. So uh, control your fish loads, you'll be able to have a better handle on algae and uh, I think you'll see your pond improve not only in its appearance but also its overall water quality. So um, I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, hope you enjoy your pond more than ever and we'll see you again soon. Take care.